everyone today i have some cute ideas for christmas using black and white and a little bit of red so i really hope you guys enjoy and stay to the end so you want to see how i did it let's get started So for the first DIY, you will need reindeers. I got those clear that I think they are so absolutely beautiful. Some wooden cubes, wooden dowels, some hooks, and also some spray paint. In this case, I'm using the enamel paint, but uh, that can be just an option. So let's start by removing the labels. Once I had that, now we're going to be using the drill and basically draw halfway holes in each cube. Just like so. Alright, we had that. Now we're going to use the wooden dowels and basically I'm going to be placing on it. So here I'm just showing that I'm using hot glue, but I did use a little bit of wood glue first. So then the hot glue for a quick process. Alright, once I had that, I'm just going to leave it on the side for a moment and now we're going to work with the reindeers. So first remove the tag. So next, I'm going to be making some holes under the belly of the reindeer. So for this step, you don't need that specific tool that I'm using. You can also use the glue gum tip. All you have to do is just hold it for a couple of seconds until the plastic start melting. Right after I did the hole, I went ahead and grabbed a dowel and create better shape on there. Okay, so then I'm going to be attached them using E6000. So once I have them attached, I'm just going to give you a really good coat with my enamel paint. So let's go outside and do that. I think they look absolutely beautiful already. All I'm going to be doing here is just adding those little hooks because my idea is to use those reindeers as uh, stocking holders. And for the final touch, I'm just going to add some of this uh, cute ribbon from the latria as well. So I cut it in half just to make it thinner strips. So, and then I'm just going to place it in each neck of the reindeers and voila! And there you have it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. You can personalize it how you like it. Add some berries or something else on it or even red scarf. I wanted something like that. So, I think it came out absolutely beautiful. But I always would like to know what you guys think. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I do quick and easy DIYs on a budget with recycled thrift string items and also Dollar Tree items. If it are interested in you, I would love to stick around for more DIYs and be part of this family. How easy! Just by click the subscribe button, also the bell so you will get notified every time I upload any video and you won't miss anything. So for now, let's keep crafting. Alright, for the next project, you will need two of those small canvases and also some bases. I got those that look like frosty and I think they are really cute. So first, I went ahead and removed the plastic and then all the staples to have all the frames. So once I had the frames, I just sanded it a little bit just to smooth it out the edges. Then I'm gonna use some black acrylic paint and give a really good coat on it. A 
and now it's time to assemble the pieces so as you can see here what I'm going to do is a beautiful centerpiece so I'm going to try it out first how the bases will look once I was ready to glue I'm going to be attaching them using E6000 so as you can see I, I put it back again and I start the other way around and for a quick process, I also add some hot glue on the bottom part. And there you have it. I think it looks so cute already. And now it's time to make a beautiful arrangement. So for this one, I'm going to use those frosting branches. I think they're so cute and some berries. And I think it looks so beautiful already. So um, as you can see here, I just almost done with that. But then I realized I can add some fairy lights. So I went ahead and add those and then place it the floral picks again and there you have it oh my goodness i think it looks absolutely beautiful but uh, like i say i always happy to read you guys comments so let me know in the comments down below all right for the next diy here are the materials i'm going to be using a old chill <laughs> piece that i had around and a stencil and also some little ornaments from dollar tree all right i got this stencil for the company i think they call ying or something like that i will leave all the information on my description box below if you are interested this project is quick and easy all i'm going to be doing is just using the white acrylic paint and using this stencil and um and this stencil is supposed to be like a long way but i'm doing it a little bit different and i think it looks so cute already All right, once I had this thing done, I went ahead and used some wooden stickers, snowflakes, and just painted in white as well. And I also grabbed the pine cone garlands and I just placed it right on the top just to add more details. And here we go. I also decided to add some glitter with mush bush. And I will say, I, when I started, I'm like, okay, it looks beautiful. I like that. So, and I was so excited with the glitter. I normally don't use the glitter, but I, it's snow and I really got excited. All right. So once I start to use the snow, I'm like, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> and then I realized it started to change in color, look like green, blue. So I ended up removing it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the other one from Dollar Tree, which is a little bit thicker. So here we go add more mush pots and, and use a lot of snow on it all right at the end i think it came out so cute it's still showing a little bit the the blue green glitter <laughs> but I, I think it came out so cute All right, for the next DIY, you will need some bases. I got those cute bottles from a thrift store a long time ago, and I've been carrying from quite a while, and I have never been able to do anything. So finally, I'm going to work with. So uh, I thought about use the enamel paint, but uh, then I thought maybe I want to change it later on, and I just can watch it if I use acrylic paint. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and used this black acrylic paint. Then I'm going to use the pine cone garland and basically make a little uh, arrangement using three pine cones. As you can see, just putting all together and then kind of twist it, the wire a little bit and cut. Right then, I'm just going to place that cute pine cone little arrangement and place it right on the on one other side of the bottle and i will be adding just a little bit of hot glue right on the top just to be able to hold it in place and then secure it with a a cute ribbon
and basically we're done with the bottles so to decorate them i'm just going to use some of those frosty branches and some large berries and that is it for this one and i think those turned out absolutely beautiful don't you think so That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please give me a big thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.